Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Gaston. And I'm just the trumpet player. Today is Wednesday, January 24th, a half day. So now we're going to have a lot more time on our hands. Please rise for a moment of silence and the pledge to the flag. Uh. <laughs> so bad. A wristwatch. <laughs> a wristwatch. <laughs> <laughs> to submit registration forms for the third annual EAS decoding contest is two days away. Registration forms are available in the high school main office. Pick one up, oh, pick up one form to register your team of two or three and return your completed form to the main office no later than this Friday, January 26th. All team members sign up on the same form, so be sure to allow time for all teammates to get parent, uh, parent signatures. See your math teacher or contact Mrs. Hooper if you have any questions. Students are reminded that this Friday, January 26th, is the last day to drop a course without receiving a WF with Drew failing mark. Course ad drop forms are available on the EHS counseling webpage and require a parent signature, so don't delay. A listing of open classes is updated daily and is available on the website as well. If you have any questions, please see your counselor ASAP. Now over to the beast with the news. <laughs> Representatives from the signing states of the North, North American Free Trade Agreement, a free trade sphere consisting of Canada, Mexico, and the U.S., have met recently in order to discuss a potential renegotiation of the terms of the treaty. The treaty minimizes obstacles to international trade in the region, such as duties and tariffs, in the hope of creating a stronger economic union between its member states. The U.S. President, Donald Trump, a known trade protectionist, has expressed desire to remove the U.S. from the treaty if it cannot attain more desirable terms for itself, as the treaty needs all the member states participating in order to function properly. They are now in discussion in an attempt to keep the U.S. in the treaty. Many economists have already warned that the dismantling of NAFTA could be anywhere from economically disruptive to economically disastrous. The message has been sponsored by Lord Hagen Forth of Akshar. This day in history goes out to all you boys and girl scouts. In 1908, the first installment of Robert Baldwin Powell's Scouting for Boys series was published on this day. He had already written a field guide about scouting focused on adults, but when he realized that his guide had been annoying, enjoyed by a younger audience, he wrote a specific handbook that not only taught skills like tracking and scouting, but also stressed the importance of good morals as well. His idea took off, and troops began to spring up all over the British Commonwealth. It was just one year the first National Boy Scout Conference was held, and over 10,000 scouts showed up, including a troop of girls who called themselves Girl Scouts. And today, we can get cookies and popcorn. Sweet. Now, over to Kyle Good and Seth with lunch. He only said like one thing. Oh, well. I was going to do like multiple people. I ran out of footage. Yes! I used to have a shirt. McFoles, baby! <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite. What a guy. This is my favorite movie. Tina, eat your food. Hey. You fat lord can have some ham. Play banana ball. I like when he says tennis really loudly. Tennis, <laughs> yeah. Ty Lopez, what a guy. In sports resorts, bowling won 7-0 versus Lebanon. Boys basketball won 60-48 versus Cacalico, and girls lost 32-36 versus Cacalico. In rifle action, after the loss to Mannheim Central, 493-496, the top shooters were Joel Potts with a 100, Brianna Bowers with a 99, 
Kyle Good with a 98 and three centers, Joshua Potts with 98 and two centers, and Samantha Hurst with 98 and one center. Somebody needs to explain to me those rifle scores sometime. Girls across winter warm-ups are on Mondays at 3.30 and Wednesdays at 5.30. Each session will last an hour and a half. If you are interested in learning more, register for the Schoology Club using the access code F4B87-NKT2B. If you remembered that from me saying it, I'm impressed. Today, wrestling is away at E-Town. Now back to the main desk. Congratulations to Jessica Moa. 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 She was the winner of the $50 Amazon gift card in Mrs. Hall's class. Jessica, please stop into room 124 for by Friday to pick up your winnings, and I'm sorry for mispronouncing your last name. On January 29th, Monday, and January 30th, Tuesday, next week, activities group photos will take place during homeroom. Please stop in at your homeroom to check in, and then be at the auditorium by 7.30 to begin. See the list below for the day your group will be needed. What's on day one? Well, you see, day one, uh, which would be January 29th, 2018, German NHS, Leo Club, regular NHS, Spanish NHS, Student Council, GSA, Link Crew, Quiz Bowl, Avidum, and Ski Club. What's on day two? Day two includes, which would be the 30th, yearbook, newspaper, chess club, FFA, anime club, dance team, art honor society, mini song club, and friends of Rachel. Thank you. You're welcome. Feeling anxious about your plans for Valentine's Day? Fret no more. Spend the evening at a dance. mini -thon is hosting a Valentine's dance on Saturday, February 10th. Tickets are $7 in advance or $10 at the door the day of the dance. Ticket sales are Tuesday, February 6th through Friday, February 9th. All proceeds benefit Four Diamonds. Remember, it's a Sadie Hawkins dance, so girls ask the guys. Put your heart out on the floor for all to see. <laughs> so have a... Activities group photo day. Have a day with a smiley face. <laughs> have a half day. <laughs> have a day, feet, smiley face. Mary, Jack Nicholson. I'm Steve Buscemi. Yo, I right. saw something so on Instagram that said Steve Buscemi was like... Helping Charles alongside Manson. firefighters after 9-11. Yeah, he was part of the New York Fire Department. Yeah. He was like... Uh,